Consider a body going around a circular path of radius 126 meter at a uniform speed, completing one revolution in 18 seconds. We could work out the speed of the body as 44 meter per second as it has covered the circumference of uh, 792 meter in 18 seconds. If a smaller duration is chosen, the distance traveled will be proportionately smaller and the speed works out to be the same. Suppose we are interested in calculating the instantaneous velocity. We might say since it is moving uniformly, velocity has same magnitude as speed. We would reason out that if the body were to fly off the circle, it would do so along the tangent. So you can reason out and find the magnitude and direction of instantaneous velocity. But how do we calculate this? Let us say the body was at A at a certain instant of time and 3 seconds later it is at B having covered an angle of 60 degrees. We can get the displacement AB as a hard length 2R sine delta theta by 2 which for this angle is R itself. This displacement is shown as a red dotted arrow. We calculate the average velocity for the duration of 3 seconds as the card length AB which is 126 meter divided by the time of 3 seconds and get a value of 42 meter per second. This average velocity is along the card and is shown as an yellow arrow. These values are also shown in the text area and in the first row of the table. Let us reduce the duration to 2.5 seconds and repeat the calculations. Displacement AB is now 106.5 meter and average velocity is 42.60 meter per second. These values are again shown in the text area and in the second row of the table. For the duration of 2 seconds, the displacement is 86.19 meter and average velocity is 43.09 meter per second. Let's make the duration smaller by 0.5 second every time and calculate the average velocities. We observe that these values shown in the last column getting closer to 44 meter per second as duration gets smaller. If we had used a duration of say 0.01 second, we would have found average velocity to be a value differing from 44 meter per second by a very very small amount. As long as we do not talk of zero duration, we can do these calculations. As duration gets smaller, displacement also gets smaller and the ratio of the displacement to time approaches a certain value. By considering a very small duration, we get what we can claim as the instantaneous velocity. To reflect on what an instant is, time is an interval between two events and as the interval gets smaller, we get what we call an instant. It is much the same way as how you would understand what a geometric point is. You would probably say it is a length element tending to zero. Instant can only be understood as a very very small duration or in mathematical parlance, instant is a duration tending to zero.